In this video, we'll be discussing about the neuron, aka nerve cell. This nerve cell conducts nerve impulses through action potentials. First of all, we see the neuron or nerve cell communications is by electrical and chemical means. So collectively, neurotransmission involves electrochemical processes. The electrical process in nerve cell is through the action potentials and the chemical process is through the neurotransmitters. We see the action potentials are generated by the voltage-gated ion channels in plasma membrane of nerve cell. And the neurotransmitters are synthesized within the nerve cell and then are released into synaptic cleft that we are going to see in the later part of this video. Now first of all let's see the structure of neuron. Here in this diagram we see where the neuron. This part of neuron is the cell body aka soma or perikaryon. And these branched extensions are the dendrites which are the receptive regions of neuron. Then we have the nucleus, axon hillock and the axon. This axon is the long projection of nerve cell which conducts nerve impulses away from the cell body. Whereas on the right we have the axon terminals as shown in the diagram through which synaptic vesicles release neurotransmitters upon vesical fusion. And these terminal end branches of axon are collectively termed as telodendria. So this type of neuron which has been shown in this diagram is termed as non-myelinated neuron since there is no myelination on axon. And when we further look into the structure of neuron, we see where the Schwann cells present on the axon of no cell as shown in the diagram. And these Schwann cells secrete myelin in layers around the axon that forms the myelin sheath. But it must be noted here that myelination around the axon is discontinuous and the gap between myelin sheath is termed as node of Runge. And this structure of neuron is a type of myelinated nerve cell. Furthermore, we know this structure of neuron is the general structure of neuron, termed as multipolar neuron. And we also have different type of neurons like bipolar neuron, unipolar neuron, which we are not discussing here. Here in this structure, the cell body which is having dendrites is the receptive region, that's it receives the stimulus. Then the middle part which has been highlighted here consists of axon hillock and axon. This part is the conducting region, that means it generates and transmits action potentials. And the last part of nerve cell which is the terminal part of it consists of telodendria, is the secretory region where axon terminals release neurotransmitters. If we see this process in a brief and simple manner, first of all the dendrites are stimulated. We see the dendrites receive the stimulus from other nerve cells at synaptic cleft. And this signal is integrated first and then conducted as action potential through axon as shown in the diagram. And at the end of nerve cell, the action potential mediates the release of neurotransmitter through axon terminal at synaptic clefts, as shown in the diagram. The mechanism of no impulse or the action potential will be discussed in another part of the video. Now let's see some terms that are related with the structure of neuron. First we have the soma or perikaryon, that is the cell body. It contains the nucleus and all other cellular organelles. We also have clusters of rough endoplasmic reticulum present in the cell body termed as nasal bodies. The second important part is the axon, which is a long projection away from soma. It mainly conducts the nerve impulses. In the axon, we see where the mitochondria, microtubules, and neurofibrils. The neurofilaments in axon are type 4 intermediate filaments. Then we have the myelin sheath. It is a lipid rich substance that surrounds nerve cell axon. It increases impulse speed by saltatory conduction. As we can see in this animation, how nerve impulse speed differs in both myelinated and non myelinated neuron. And we know this myelin sheath is secreted by Schumann cell. So, this is the basic structure of neuron and some terms related to it. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. You can support me work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.